I just loved her instantly. It was 1964 in Duncan, Oklahoma, and Catherine Jones had just given birth to her second child. And I thought she was the most beautiful little baby and had such a beautiful complexion. As a kid, Tina loved to make people laugh. How would you describe Tina growing up? Oh, she was just always a, a, a blessing. Always happy-go-lucky. Tina calls her childhood just normal. My mom's grandparents were terrific. We had horses with them, and he took us to rodeos and play days. And Sounds really nice. Sounds very Oklahoma. Yeah, it was very Oklahoma. Life was pretty normal until 2019, when Tina, then 55 years old, took an Ancestry.com DNA test and was sent a list of people she was genetically related to. And did you recognize any of those names? The only name I recognized was my daughter's. Tina was confused and asked her mother, Catherine, to take the test. Ours didn't match up. There was no overlap? Nothing. Tina's daughter started searching the internet for the surnames that did come up and found 55-year-old Jill Lopez, born on the same day in 1964. Tina, what did you think when you saw Jill's photo? I thought it was my, I thought it looked just like my mother. Tina reached out to Jill and she also took a DNA test. With those results came a life-changing, destabilizing new reality. Jill was Catherine's biological daughter. Tina was the biological daughter of Jill's parents, who are now deceased. Somehow, the girls were switched at birth. It's a hard, it's a hard thing to, to get around. Yeah. All I could think about was how I was going to tell my mom. I just thought she's not going to be able to handle it. Tina gathered the siblings she was raised with to tell Catherine. It just devastated me, totally devastated me. It felt like somebody took a hatchet or something and hatched out a big part of my heart. She was afraid she was going to lose me, and she wasn't going to. I wasn't going to leave her. Their new reality has brought a confusing swirl of emotions that they're still processing. Pain, grief, regret, anger. It's a hard thing to know what to do, you know? You don't know how to move yeah. forward when your whole world is turned upside down. Yeah, because to me, there's so many people involved. I mean, it's not just me and Jill. It's two entire families. Jill held a gathering to introduce Tina to some of her biological family. A bunch of people are there that you don't know, but they're all related to you. That must be strange. It was very strange. Catherine is sorry she missed so much of Jill's life. They're spending time together. They both love purple, shopping, and estate sales. Jill said you've become friends. That's correct. Not Maybe not mother-daughter, but friends. Yes. And it's a very good start. But Tina will always be Catherine's little girl. I just, I could not lose Tina. She, you know, she'll just always be my daughter. I've loved her. From the second they laid her in my arms. All three women want to hold the hospital responsible, represented by the Smith Barquette Law Firm. They have filed suit against the current regional hospital, who they argue merged long ago with the hospital where Tina and Jill were born. But that regional hospital says it was formed in the 1970s and is not the legal successor to the hospital that switched Tina and Jill at birth. That legal battle is still playing out. Guys, no one really knows exactly how yeah. these two babies were switched at mm -hmm. birth. Both the delivery doctors and mm -hmm. all the nurses involved are all deceased now mm -hmm. so wow. it's hard they may never know how it happened God. nowadays there's you know the wristband you beep you can't even say hello to your child without yeah. all these yeah. but yeah. back in the 60s yeah it was well, a little yeah, different a then different. Yeah. what makes it tough to biology is not always the determining factor in what you consider to be family yeah, yeah. we sure. talked about that that yeah. they all feel so strongly bonded to right. the people who raised, raised them, them. Yeah. Yeah. which shows you that that a mother's love is a mother's love right wow. thank, thank you for that it's a great story Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.